lunchtime shimmy uh, coming at you with what I like to refer to as a supplementary video. This video is three shimmies and it's a little video put together and covering three shimmies that you can drill back to back to back uh, in between your classes or in between your fitness classes or just because you want something shorter than a 40 minute class. Okay. All right, so this one is going to cover, like I said, three shimmies, and those are the leg shimmy, so also known as our Egyptian shimmy, okay? This is the most common or popular shimmy, right? Everyone is wanting to be able to do that. Notice the direction that the belly button is going, and that the hips are not actually going up and down. The next one is the shoulder shimmy. So the shoulder shimmy is a movement that causes a lot of giggles, it causes a lot of different feelings in people. This one actually takes a lot of work. Please take notice that the hips are not moving. There's no action down below. That the shoulders are moving and the hands are staying still. Most of this work is happening in the back. And in our pectoral. is our hip tilty shimmy or our knee shimmy. So noticing that this shimmy, the hips are going up and down because the knees are bending up and down, not back and forth because we are not going to straight. tilting shimmy. It's a looser shimmy. It can go quick or it can go slow. Yeah? Alright. So let's just drill these three. I'm going to kind of go over them a little bit and then we'll just do the little drill. I think I like to put um, little movements together that are from the same family but then contrast to each other so this either up and down so we're contrasting horizontally and vertically or body parts so in this case the shimmies although both are being driven from our leg one is being driven by what we refer to as the straight leg shimmy and again take notice that the hips are not tilting and then the other is a knee shimmy causing the hips to tilt up and down so those two are in contrast to each other, so I love drilling them back to back. The shoulder shimmy is a nice pathway to reset in between both of them, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna go down first and start with our Egyptian shimmy or our straight legged shimmy or our leg shimmy. These are all of different ways that people refer to this. So it is just that it is a leg shimmy. We are driving from our legs, moving forward and backwards and they are straight, and I'm going to talk about the word straight in a minute, yeah? Our pelvis is tucked in, but not tight, we're not like so, and we actually have our hips over our toes. Feet are flat on the ground, if you will, but because we are leaning forward a little bit, you might feel your heels kind of getting a little bit of air, or shuffling, or tapping the floor, that's fine. In a relaxed way of thinking about this movement, think of it as angry in the grocery store. So frustrated in the grocery store, you're waiting for something and it's taking forever and you just start shaking your legs. If that analogy doesn't work for you, uh, cold at the bus stop, waiting for SkyTrain, uh, waiting for the shuttle bus and you're trying to keep yourself warm, right? And you just let your legs go back and forth in a vibration-like manner. Okay. So, these legs, when we talk about them being straight, they are straight in the, in the sense that we're not bent, but they're not locked, and we're not slamming them back. What we're doing here is we're straight leg legging, we're going forward, back, 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 forward, back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? And you just let that 
make its way up your leg. And what happens is, remember this drill that I was talking about early in the other videos? Okay, just putting the foot out left and shaking this inner thigh. This is where it comes into play. So if you would like, put your foot out, flex that foot, but don't flex the quad and let the inner part of your leg be shaken by your leg going back and forth. All right, so that relaxed shake is what you want when you're doing the Egyptian shimmy, okay? So, for me, um, my weight usually is a little bit more on my left and my right leg will start, yeah? So, so what I'm just going to ask you to do at this moment is just find a tempo that works for you. It doesn't have to match the music, it's maybe not going to. You have an internal uh, hum in your body, so just dial into it. And when you dial into it, take notice as it goes really fast, so it freezes and it's sitting way up here. Let it sit there frozen for a minute, that's okay. Then just ask your legs to relax and let it go down your legs. And if it's sitting on one side, try to balance your weight out. So allow yourself the time to just go in and see how your legs play in the back and forth, okay? So, movement number one is just that. It's our shimmy with our legs. Just allowing yourselves to shimmy. You can let your arms be flat on the side, relax. You can place them out into soft second. You can hold them at your chest. You can sit them behind your head. I'm not a big fan of this one, but some people like it. You can sit them behind you, okay? Just to settle into the legs. All right, Egyptian shimmy. Number two is our shoulder shimmy. So our shoulder shimmy is a horizontal front to back twisting motion where one shoulder comes forward and the other shoulder goes back. And that rotation is coming all the way down into your ribs. So you're allowing yourself to twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and twist and twist. So one shoulder comes forward, the other shoulder comes forward. Forward, 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 forward. Of course, if one goes forward, the other goes back. If one goes forward, the other goes back. Now, unlike our hips, our shoulders can actually be isolated and be driven individually. Our hip is one big, or pelvis is one big bone. So if one pulls, the other always comes. Our shoulders, we have to tell them to stay connected to go in this off position, okay? As we move faster, the strikes get smaller, causing this shimmy or shake-like motion. You can place your hands on your, on your hips to feel those shoulders going back and forth. Slow it down. It's gonna turn around so you can see the back. Shimmy. Two, three, 
good Egyptian shimmy. Five, six, seven, eight. And shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight leg.